might remember Jody Rain Giles. Jody has held many titles over the years, but in 2012, she won the title of Miss Planet Beach International. She traveled and served as the international spokesperson for Planet Beach, the Tempo Spa Franchise Corporation. In 2009, she was Miss Hawaiian Tropic Alabama. 2008, she was the Miss Agriculture for Baldwin County. And in 2000, Johnny Dorland, I think she worked at your farm. Did she not, Johnny Dorland? I think she worked at Johnny Dorland's farm for a while. 2007, she was the Alabama State Pecan Queen. Jody says the best thing about living in the South is embracing her Southern roots. She loves to cook. Nothing better than a good Southern meal. She also loves being raised in the South. She loves here to get in her way. In love with her hunting, fishing, shooting, and wearing cowboy boots. And she admits nothing better than the beautiful beaches here in South Alabama. But wait, but wait. I'm, suddenly this has turned into an infomercial. But yet there's more. Jody, when asked... I know, you're damn right I'm going to ask her. Ask if she possesses any special skills or talents that may be shared. You know, can she sing, play the piano, dance on a pole? I don't know, any of those things. She said yes. She said she can speak like Gonzo from the Muppet Babies. So, Jody, give us a little Gonzo from the Muppet Babies. Seville, I'm just telling you, only at the Blue Marlin Grand Championship. I am going to need that. Good God. Our number one contestant, Jody Rain Giles. Sweating? Is it just me? Am I the only one sweating? No, just me? Good. Just me? Okay. Our number two contestant, you remember? Elizabeth Hebner. Liz has had several titles. We talked about all her really. She has many hobbies as well. Um, it's not on the script, but I'm just going to say working out is probably one of them. Am I right? She also likes anything and I, anything outdoors, from horseback riding, four-wheeling, four mud riding, camping, and boating. She loves the southern charm of living in the south. She loves sweet tea. She loves a short drive to the beach or big city. She loves the Smoky Mountains. And she loves, that she mentioned, she loves the sweet tea. She wrote it twice. She really likes sweet tea. Best advice ever anyone's ever given to her, you can't fix stupid. Said her dad. If Liz could have any job in the world, no doubt she would own a horse ranch. She loves and looks up to Carrie Underwood. She said Carrie always remains a humble opinion. And she loves how she carries herself as a professional. And we love our number two contestant, Elizabeth Hepner. Remember our third contestant, Jana Paget from Satsuma? God, they're always from Satsuma. Hey, guys who grew up in Mobile, live in Mobile, they're always from Satsuma, am I right? Always from Satsuma. Jana admits it's hard to pick one just great thing of living here in the South, but for starters, she thinks there's nothing better than sweet Southern hospitality. She loved growing up in the South, said it's been a blessing. She was taught manners, respect, and the value of family and friends. She also adds that she doesn't know many girls outside the South that could skin a buck and clean a bass by the age of eight. I just had to move through skin a buck and clean a bass. We asked her her role model, and Jana says without her doubt, it's her dad. Her dream job, she wants to be a nurse. And she wants to help people, or better yet, animals. She has one obsession. Wow, I'm very excited to hear that it's bikini contest MCs. Good for Jim. No, that's not it, damn it. And she says she doesn't feel guilty about it. Her one obsession, it's ketchup. She puts it on everything. 
gentlemen, everything I said. One year for Christmas, her mom even bought her a 24-pack of family-sized bottles. It lasted until New Year's Eve. The best advice anybody ever gave Jenna was her dad and said, never settle for anything less than perfect. Our number three contestant from Satsuma, Jenna Paget. Number four contestant from Pensacola, Heidi Jo Medina. She loves the southern charm and hospitality and has been a lot of places around the world, but another, nobody and nothing compares to the folks here at the Blue Marlin Grand Championship. That's what it says right here on her sheet. She had an album that changed her life. It was the Beatles' Abbey Road. Her all-time favorite song is Here Comes the Sun. She says it always brings her up when she feels down. The entire album is amazing and puts her in a happy place. Isn't that somebody's boat name, Happy Place? Who owns the boat, Happy Place, out there? No? Joe Rowe, that's good stuff. Give me a little something. That's, that's good stuff there. Best advice she's ever given, she says, even the greatest oak started out as a little nut that stood in the ground. Nothing better than where you come from. And with enough passion and determination, you'll end up where you want to be. Her mom is her whole, is her role model. She's our contestant. She's number four. She's Heidi Joe Medina.